a great story. Uh, it's a great story for a ballet. <laughs> and it's a story that takes place in 1905 at the Pontevedrian Embassy in Paris. And the land of Pontevedria is in a terrible financial state. And they're looking to um, have some new income and uh, make their country rich again. Uh, so they scheme up this idea that the Count Danilo will uh, charm the uh, very wealthy Mary Hanna, uh, the widow. And, and so begins this whole fun romantic comedy of how this happens. So the choreographer of the Merry Widows was by a man called Ronald Hind. Um, he choreographed it on the Australian Ballet in 1975. Ronnie Hind and I love him. He is as effervescent as the champagne that comes out of the cork bottles at the end. Uh, he, he's a delight. He, he really just has such a great zest for life and you can tell just adores this ballet. And so it really just makes you feel uh, so joyous. Well, the music, most people have actually heard some of the music before. I remember I would first heard the music on a music box that my grandmother had. So I'd actually heard the music before. So it's very listenable music. It's very easy to get. Ah, oh, the music, you feel it's a waltz. What better thing to dance to than a waltz? And it's just delightful. It, 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 does, it doesn't have the, the ache that sometimes big operas have. So it's, it's more of an operetta that it was based off of. So as a dancer, there are moments of, of just sheer joy. <laughs> and that's so much fun to do. And, and sometimes that's a little bit difficult and a little bit challenging. To, so playing that is, is kind of a tricky line. You don't want it to appear trivial. You want the audience to enjoy it as much as you do. The story is like so, it's so kooky and so off the wall at times. And yet the sets and costumes are very lush and vibrant and colorful and it's very Houston, it's very like decadent. It's very, very glamorous. It's very beautiful. The set is gorgeous. Um, the costumes are beautiful. So it's very easy on the eye. We have a guest coming back and she only just left the company and that's Amy Fote will be guesting and doing the role, which she was danced beautifully last time and she actually finished a gala with dancing this role. So she'll be coming back. Uh, and we have uh, some principals of the company, of course, here, Marae Hassenbola being one of them as well. One of the things that I love about it is that it doesn't take itself too seriously. Um, I think that in, like, most people can appreciate that about, about art, when, when art doesn't take itself too seriously. There are moments where that's appropriate and where that needs to happen, but this is a more just go and have a good time kind of moment, and it's it's a fun ride, but I think you know people should be prepared that it, there is silliness and there is like beauty and decadence and scandal and everything all rolled into one. So yeah, I don't want to give any secrets of it away because I want people to come and see it. <laughs>